At the very bottom of our world lies a continent of extremes, a place of profound beauty and unforgiving cold, Antarctica. It is the most remote and hostile environment on Earth, an immense desert of ice holding 70% of the planet's fresh water. For centuries, we saw it as a static, frozen giant, unchanging and eternal. We were wrong. Buried deep in the western part of this continent, a single piece of ice, a glacier the size of the state of Florida, is stirring. Scientists who study this colossal river of ice have given it an ominous nickname, the Doomsday Glacier. Please, before we continue, please subscribe and like. For decades, we knew it was melting, retreating at a steady pace, but that steady pace is gone. New, terrifying data captured by robotic submarines in the dark ocean beneath the ice reveals the situation is far more unstable than our worst models predicted. The internal structure of the glacier is failing, and its final collapse may not be a problem for our grandchildren, but one that begins in our lifetime. To understand the danger, we first have to understand the mechanics. The Thwaites Glacier isn't just a block of ice sitting on land. It's a dynamic river of ice flowing from the heart of the continent into the Amundsen Sea. The front portion of the glacier floats out over the ocean, creating a massive platform of ice known as an ice shelf. This shelf acts like a cork in a bottle, bracing the glacier behind it and slowing its flow into the sea. The entire system's stability depends on one critical point, the grounding line. This is the exact location where the glacier lifts off the bedrock and begins to float. For a stable glacier, this line should remain in roughly the same place, but the grounding line of Thwaites is in full retreat. The culprit is a force from the deep. Unusually warm, salty ocean water, a current called the circumpolar deep water, has found its way onto the continental shelf. It's now circulating directly beneath the ice shelf, melting the glacier from the bottom up. Imagine a frozen fortress, seemingly impenetrable from above, being silently eroded from its very foundations. Scientists first identified Thwaites as a potential threat in the 1970s, noting the unique downward-sloping bedrock beneath it. This means that as the grounding line retreats further inland, it encounters deeper and deeper water, which allows even more warm water to attack the glacier's underbelly. It's a runaway feedback loop, a vicious cycle of melting and retreat that, once started, is nearly impossible to stop. For years, our understanding of this underwater melting was based on satellite data and computer models, but we had never seen it with our own eyes. To change that, an international team of scientists embarked on a dangerous expedition to the front line of the glacier. They drilled through half a kilometer of ice to deploy an underwater robot named Icefin into the darkness below. And what it found was shocking. The robot's cameras and sensors revealed a world of chaos. The underside of the glacier wasn't a smooth, uniform surface. It was a landscape of deep canyons, terraced slopes, and massive fissures, a sign that the warm ocean water was melting the ice in complex and aggressive ways. The melting wasn't just happening at the grounding line, it was happening all across the bottom of the ice shelf. But the most alarming discovery was the extent of the internal damage. These fissures and cracks weren't just on the surface, they were cutting up through the entire thickness of the ice shelf. The warm water is infiltrating these cracks, widening them, and weakening the structural integrity of the ice from the inside out. The lead scientists now believe the ice shelf could shatter like a car windshield. It won't be a slow, graceful melt. It could be a rapid, catastrophic disintegration. Their latest models, based on this new data, suggest this final shattering of the protective ice shelf could happen in as little as 5 to 10 years. Once that barrier is gone, the cork is out of the bottle, and the massive glacier behind it will be free to accelerate its flow into the ocean. The numbers are difficult to comprehend. The collapse of the Thwaites Glacier, by itself, contains enough ice to raise global sea levels by over 2 feet, or 65 centimeters. This alone would be devastating, redrawing coastlines and causing trillions of dollars in damage to coastal cities like Miami, Jakarta, and Venice. But that is only the beginning of the doomsday scenario. 
Thwaites is the weak link, the gateway to the entire West Antarctic ice sheet. If Thwaites goes, it will destabilize the glacier surrounding it, triggering a chain reaction of collapse. That larger ice sheet holds enough water to raise global sea levels by a truly catastrophic 10 feet or 3 meters. An entire global civilization built on the stability of our coastlines would be thrown into chaos. This isn't a distant threat for a far-off future generation. The new data shows the process is already underway, happening faster than we ever thought possible. The fate of our world's coastal cities may not be decided in parliaments or boardrooms, but by the physics of a single colossal glacier at the bottom of the world. It serves as a stark and powerful reminder that the great forces of our planet are interconnected, and a change in one remote corner can be felt by us all. The Doomsday Glacier is sending a warning, and we must listen.